Well, what the heck is up, guys? Marshall Murkison here. Well, we're not working out right now. Well, Aaron is. We're uh, doing a little fish. We're attempting to do some fishing. Nothing's biting. We've been out here for about an hour and not even gotten a nibble. But hey, it's still better than sitting at the house, right? We're just looking around. See all these trees over here close to the water. We're trying to work our way over that way. See if they'll bite over here somewhere. Good job, Aaron. Good job. Proud of you. We're drifting in the wrong direction. Struggling just a little bit. So I lost my tackle box about a year or two ago. He's got me one of these little suckers from Walmart. Seems like every time I tell myself I'm not going to spend any money, I always spend about $100. This boy right here. I haven't seen Will before. This is William. William, not Will. I like him. Slurring my words. I haven't been drinking. I haven't been drinking. We already know. We said if Will doesn't, uh, if Will doesn't catch anything, they're not biting. This boy's from Louisiana. He's always hauling them in. We're gonna see if, uh, we'll see if Will catches anything. If he does, we know there's hope. Come on, Will. We're counting on you. We can't really say that we did the best planning today, cause. We uh, didn't stop by a bait shop, and we were already almost out here, stopped by Walmart, tried to get some crickets. Of course, they were sold out, so we didn't get them. So we're out here fishing with uh, our fake bait, hoping to pull in something. That's the name of the game right there, catching branches. The struggle is real. <laughs> uh, just don't hook me. All right, we're running ground. Come on, Will, you can get it. Get it. Success. Well, we can't say we didn't catch anything. Just caught a branch. That's something. Caught a will. Yeah, we caught a will. Oh yeah, he snagged his finger. I didn't get that on camera though. I always miss the good stuff. What I what I tell you about that Louisiana boy? Caught him a fish. Ain't ain't really a looker, but. Hey, something. They're out here. Just slowly, slowly bring it in. There you go. Good job, Will. Tell you what, we got it wrong. These boys had the right idea. Got a rope swing set up here. That'd be pretty freaking nice right about now. 92 degrees outside. 92 degrees. Well, we didn't really catch anything, so we're leaving in defeat. We're gonna go make some gains. Make some use out of this day. All right, so, still waiting on Aaron. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get our squat started. We got a friend's birthday party coming up. And uh, we don't have much time. I don't have much time. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of sprung it on him. We're filming. What's up, everybody? Everybody. Guess it's my turn to get a warm up in. Whopping. This is a uh, this is what you call a quarantine haircut. So I've gone to the barber since the quarantine. I need a, I need a haircut. Get ready for a little bit of heavier squat. True story. When we were in high school, well, shortly after high school, when we first really started dabbling with weightlifting, we did a lot of bench press. We did a lot of bench press in high school football. And uh, football, we did some squats, but after football, we didn't really mess with legs that much. I know, we were stupid. And uh, off and on over the years, we'd work out here and there, and it was always just bench press and stuff, never really squats. So four years ago, when we really started training consistently and working on dieting and all that, we uh, we we started uh, really getting into trying to get our squat together. So it's been slow progress. For most people, 225 on squat isn't much of anything, but like I said, when you've been kind of working on building your squat up slowly because you haven't really focused on it much, you know, it, it, it's a journey. But 
I'm getting where we can, still trying to get it for reps and everything. We're not really doing five by fives or anything like that on squats. It's mostly just weight that we can get for 10 plus reps. And then we go from there. One, two, three, four, Bro, six, seven, come on, eight, yes sir, good job, good depth, good depth, yeah I bet, alright Marshall's going for 215, on the squad, yeah. Gonna bust out 10. Come on, bro. Come on. One, two, three. Come on. Four, five, six. Come on. Seven. Eight. Come on, two more. Nine. Come on, one more. Ten. Good job. There you go, sir. Ten sets of 215. Good job. All right, so we just knocked out a wild to bot around. We supersetted 95 pound clean and press with side laterals with bent over rows. And we did, uh, yeah, my dog's messed up my wall right there. Don't look at that. We've, uh, <laughs> we've, uh, we made, uh, we did three. Mess right now. Oh, yeah. We did Woo. what? Five, four rounds of, of the suit. 12 rounds. 12 rounds total, yeah. And, uh, we did three different workouts. 45 laterals. second, yeah, 45 seconds straight. Yeah. Side laterals, can't clean and press, and, uh, bent over rows. Yes, sir. So, I'm sweating. Yeah. <laughs> now we're just knocking out the, uh, we're, we're just doing a few curls, just hit the biceps real quick. As I said, we are pressed for time. So we're trying to hurry up and get done and get out of here, Dad Gummit. Come on, Eric. Look at this guy. Look at this guy doing curls. Kind of loser does curls. Kind of loser does curls. How did that guy? Well, hello there. That was a very good workout. Very good workout. So, uh, Adam. Yes, sir. Would you like to? Well, first of all, look at this. This shiny new truck. I don't know if y'all remember. Some of y'all may have watched the video back to this point. If not, I'm going to tell you about it. We, uh, in one of our earlier videos, if you're curious how to watch this, you can check it out. One of the very, very early videos, we're riding around in a dad come, uh, old Buick with the ceiling falling down <laughs> and, uh, all that fun stuff. So we, uh, we got into a rough patch. I'll do a video about that later, but we got into a rough patch and we were having a hard time coming back from, uh, from that rough patch. That was a vehicle we had at the time. Now we've got my baby. And uh, Adam just got him a brand new truck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the new truck that me and my wife, Lydia Murkison, just purchased. I do enjoy it. F-150s are pretty nice. Yep. We call them Big Red. Yeah. All right, Adam. If you want to tell us, tell them what we did real quick, just a quick recap. Okay, so a quick recap of what we just did. That's where you showed my truck. No, you silly <laughs> little guy. The workout. Okay, we had a really good workout. We did, uh, what was it? 12 rounds at Tabata. We did side laterals, supersetted with clean and press, and then bent over rows. Really good, quite brutal. I broke a wonderful sweat. What were the interval it was lengths? A great day. Like breaking. 45 seconds. 45 and then seconds. We had 20 seconds off, 45 seconds off. Yeah, fun stuff. Fun, fun stuff. stuff. Aaron said he loved it. Aaron did love it. Oh, Aaron Aaron has a girlfriend now, by the way. Yeah. I'm the Congrats only single Aaron. one. Me and Hunter. Me and Hunter. <laughs> Y'all stay fit. Do your push-ups. Do 
you're pushing.